Hi, Leanne. Thanks for joining me here at Shepherd of the Hills Lutheran Church to talk about the pyramids that you all had made for your congregation. I'd like to start today with one of the basic things that happens in all five sets of the pyramids, and we call that the shepherd fabric. What I did is I took the words to the Good Shepherd Psalm, Psalm 23, and had them done in four different languages, and then I made it into a screen. This is a Thermofax screen, and we use that to print fabric, but not so that you could read it, but so that it would become a combination of all four languages. And we're reminded that the 23rd Psalm has been said by people, prayed by people, whispered by people all over the globe for centuries. And it's still being done here. So as we look through the pyramids, we're going to see the shepherd fabric. And we'll be looking for other things that will clue you into what it is that these pyramids say to these people as they worship in this space. This is supposed to be a quiet assurance of God's steadfast love in rather complex times. We're starting with blue, which is the Advent season. And you're ready to use this pretty soon now, right? Yeah, a couple more weeks. Right. So I chose symbols that would get us ready because Advent is working towards Christmas, the birth of Christ. So I like the idea of a half circle. This is the first time I've ever used a half circle in the sh for a shape on an altar, but it's we're getting ready, but we're not there yet. But I use a lot of numbers in this, and there's lots of numbers in my symbolism. This one's got quite a few. You'll notice there's stars, and the stars are made out of the shepherd fabric. And how many stars are there? Seven stars. Okay, and seven is a number of wholeness and completeness. One thing we can remember is there's seven days of the week, and it makes a whole week, so wholeness. There's also different divisions, and there happens to be 12 of those. So what numbers of 12 can you think about in the Bible? Of, of Israel, yeah, that's right. And 12, how many disciples did Jesus have? Yeah, so this helps us remember. It's kind of a systematic ordering. One of my favorite symbols is a spiral. I use it in both liturgical work and my um, secular work. It, to me, has a wonderful sense of energy, and the three together is a symbol of the Trinity. So while we're getting ready to celebrate the birth of Christ, it's always about the three in one, one in three. And I love these little dots because they just add a bit of mystery. So this is what's on the altar, but also for your congregation we made banners. And how many are in the blue set? Four. And there's four weeks in Advent, so that's why we chose four. And we'll notice up here, this is a sun for the symbol. Each of the banners pairs have a different symbol on them, and there is a little bit of that shepherd fabric up there. But the sun is a symbol of Jesus Christ. So we use that on that banner. And they're predominantly blue, but with little bits of purple and gold in to foreshadow other seasons. So do you always put all four banners up every week, or do you sometimes add one every week? I was just thinking that's Could be a the good year. thing for this year. Yeah, yeah, like I did the sheep. <laughs> right. So it's fun, because again, everything was designed for this congregation, for this space, but with the idea that you could use it and have variety, because we don't need to be bored. We don't need to get in a rut. That's right. Well, that's a really good thing. Good. I, it's good to know you do that. Thank you. Thank you. 